We're currently going through Borstar's selection phase. Um, so Borstar is a search, trauma, and rescue team for the United States Border Patrol. And we put agents through a pretty rigorous selection process um, to find the best of the best to help us do our job. Um, there's a lot of remote areas in the desert that nobody else can go to except for the Border Patrol. And when Border Patrol agents get in trouble, we're the ones that come to help. So Borstar was created in 1999 um, as the search and rescue team. They identified that there was an uh, operational gap in certain rescues. Like There's places that we can't get to um, as, as normal agents that, uh, that Borstar can do. So when it comes to affecting rescues in the mountains where ropes are required for access, or advanced medical capabilities, or helicopter operations, a different uh, mission profile for the canines. So what we do is, is very unique um, in all of Border Patrol. Um, we're a search trauma rescue team. Um, we patrol anywhere that normal agents patrol. Um, we have advanced capabilities in technical rope rescue. We have uh, search and rescue canines, uh, human remains detection canines, uh, paramedics on the team. Everybody on the team uh, needs to go and get their EMT certification as well. So we're, we're just a, a big search and rescue team with a heavy medical component and a little tactical component on the side. So it's a, it's a five week process. Uh, we're currently in the selection phase of that process. And right now we're introducing stressful situations, uh, sleep deprivation, uh, all kinds of different information, uh, different capacities that they have to perform in as a typical Borstar agent. And uh, we're just, we're looking for good teamwork, good communication. Uh, we want thinkers. Uh, we, we can't have guys that uh, just know how to physically perform. Being fit is not enough uh, to be a good fit for Borstar. So problem solvers is what we're looking for, and that's what we're trying to make here. White Sands has been great. Uh, they've tried other places, and they always keep on coming back here. Um, it, it offers a lot of benefits for, for our special operations group to, to host this training. So I guess one of the biggest is its proximity to the Special Operations Group Headquarters, which is located on Fort Bliss. Um, being close to home for a lot of these cadre uh, is a major benefit. Uh, we can move all of our equipment out here, all of our gear, uh, in a really short amount of time. And if we ever need anything, it's just right down the road. Um, the command staff here has been awesome to work with. Uh, they, they pretty much afford us whatever we need. Um, the COP is a great facility for us. Um, it allows us to, to do everything that we need to do um, in a real close area. So we don't have to travel very far to get to the places that we need to go. And the terrain here is very similar to what we see in a lot of places. Obviously, El Paso sector, Tucson sector is just like this. Yuma sector is just like this. Parts of California are just like this. Uh, down in Texas, it's a little bit different, but this is pretty consistent with what we normally see.